As an After Effects user for many years, when I switched over to Nuke, one of the first things that uh, I looked for and that drove me absolutely crazy was trying to color correct uh, my scenes. For example, um, okay, in After Effects, you know, your workflow usually goes from, let's say, Premiere, and you would edit your scenes, and then you would, you know, either copy and paste it over to After Effects or use Dynamic Link. Uh, and then you have all these, you know, on your timeline, you have all these individual scene changes that take place. So, um, if I wanted to uh, color correct each one of these scenes, I would, you know, it'd be as simple as taking, let's say, a unit saturation, dropping it onto this scene, uh, you know, select this scene, maybe drop a curve on this one, and so on. And then, you know, you make your adjustments the way you like. But in Nuke, it's, you know, totally different. Now, yeah, you know, I could take my color correction node, and I guess I can make my changes, and I guess if I keyframe them, you know, uh, that would work, I guess. You know, I could keyframe it on and off, but to me, that's a little kind of insane, actually. So, how do we do it? Well, I use the switch node, and I happen to like it a lot. Now, the switch node. When you first look at it, you know, it's just like one toggle switch, you know, but it's very powerful. Now, I have an example here. Now, this scene, you know, has many different scene changes in it. And what I, you know, what I wanted to show you is... I have it broken up into scene changes. So uh, at frame 95, it switches to, to a scene. At, at 137, it's the next scene change. At two, uh, 243 is another scene change, and so on. So, and I, you know, put visual cues for myself just so I know which each scene change, what they are. And they're all tied into that switch note. And I even set up one that I'm going to use as where it has no effects to it. So if this is the same clip duplicated over and over again. So when when you scrub through it, they're all changing together. Okay, but only one is being played. So in other words, as they're all... Uh, as it, you're scrubbing through the timeline and all the scenes are changing, whichever the switch is set to, that's the one that's going to play out onto your viewer. So, what we do, let me just say, let me delete the switch node. Let's start from the beginning. So, you bring in a switch node, and it starts out with uh, zero and then one. Uh, I like to use zero. Uh, onto the the one clip that I'm not going to have any effects applied to it. And then I continue dropping, uh, connecting my clips onto the switch. And if you notice, as you do that, it adds a next input and then numbered. Okay. So, and then out to the viewer. Okay. So now, um, I want to start connecting this switch node. I want to start keyframing it so that they switch over at the proper time. So I don't want to use, this is just my no effects. I'm not going to apply any effects to this clip, which is set to zero. So I'm going to start on one. So at frame one, I'm going to set a key on the switch node. And it's set to zero, so make sure you set it to one. Okay, then at frame 95 is when the first scene change takes place. Now, if I set a key at 95 right now, what would happen would be that Nuke will interpret and interpolate the keyframe uh, from 1 to 95 
you know so it, it's sort of like it's it's going to be doing a slow change from 1 to 95 so what you need to do is you need to keyframe you know 1 to 94 and then 95 you make the change so for example I'm going to back it up one frame to 94 and I'm going to set a keyframe again so basically 1 and 94 are the same keyframe they're set up to 1 then I'm going to advance to 95 and I'm going to switch my switch to 2 then I'm going to go to 137 which is my next scene change but I'm going to back it up one frame I'm going to set a key again and I'm going to advance it back to 137 and then move it to 3 then I'm going to go to 243 but again I'm going to back it up one one frame and set a key and then go back advance it one frame and move it to four so do you understand you're following how that works now on 355 now that you get the hang of it I don't need to back it up one so now I'm going to go to three 54 set a key and then advance it to 355 and move it to 5 okay so now if you start scrubbing through it you're gonna notice that 